What's up, music fam? I received a lot of comments asking me to explain how to set up MPC software in Cubase. So after replying to quite a few of those comments, I thought it might be easier for you to have a video to be able to refer to. If you want to use your MPC software in Cubase or any other DAW with MIDI ins and outs, here's a quick video to help you get going. If you enjoy this kind of content, consider hitting that like button and subscribing for more music tips. The first thing you'll need to do is create an instrument track for MPC software. In Cubase, you can press T to add tracks. Choose Instrument Channel, select your MPC software from the dropdown, and press Add Track. To keep things organized, I'll label this track as MPC Master, because this will be your master or main channel for the rest of the 16 MPC tracks. I'll go ahead and load some sounds from the drum kit I used recently. You won't actually be using this channel to record to. I just used this channel to adjust the overall volume of all the MPC sounds combined. Under MIDI channel, go ahead and select any for this track. That'll make things a lot more simple for a later step. Now open up your track panel again by pressing T in Cubase. This time you'll select MIDI tracks. Labeling this as MPC1 is important. Then type 16 in the count box under name and press add track. Now you should have 16 MIDI tracks. For each track, you'll need to select your MIDI controller for the input. In my case, I'm using the Machine Micro Mark II. You can select all your MPC tracks by holding Control and selecting each one. Or you can select the first track, press Shift, and select the last track. Once you select all your tracks, hold Alt and Shift together, and choose your MIDI controller as your input, and MPC software as the output. Your MIDI channel should already be set in order from 1 to 16 if you label your tracks right. Now you can go ahead and start recording onto the first track. You can either record one sound at a time onto each track, or you can record as many sounds as you want to. If you record more than one sound in the take, you'll need to duplicate the event, or copy and paste if you choose. In Cubase, just press Ctrl D. Now the point of having these three copies of this event is to put each sound onto its own track. So go ahead into the first event and select and delete everything except one sound. Do the same for the next two events, leaving a different sound for each event. Now, just place all your events onto different tracks. And you have all your sounds on different tracks. Don't forget to label your tracks to stay organized. Now you can mute and solo your sounds. You can also mute or remove sections as you arrange your beat or composition. You'll still need to control your panning, individual volumes, and other parameters within the MPC software. But this improved workflow should help you to be a lot more organized as you create. Alright music fam, I hope this helped you. If you enjoy this type of content, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, you all be blessed.